What's up guys, David here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video we're doing a comparison between the screens on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the Samsung Galaxy S3. So both of these screens are actually Super AMOLED, you know, they're both manufactured by Samsung. So you think they're very close. Difference is the Galaxy Nexus has a 4.65 inch screen versus the 4.8 inch screen on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Obviously that gives the Galaxy Nexus, considering they're both HD screens, a higher pixels per inch, which is 316 PPI compared to just 306 because this one has to cover, you know, a, a larger area. So anyways, you would expect the screen on the Galaxy Nexus to be a little bit better, but Samsung said, you know, because they are using that Pentel display layout, um, they actually made the pixels a little bit closer together to one another on the Samsung Galaxy S3 screen to make the quality better. So pretty confusing to really choose. I mean, if you look at the spec sheet, you would think the Galaxy Nexus screen is going to be better. If you listen to Samsung, you would think the, the, that the uh, Galaxy S3 screen is going to be better. So I don't know which one's better for real. I don't know who to listen to or what to listen to, but we'll go ahead and test it and see if we can even see a difference. So I'll go ahead and hit play on these two videos and uh, do a few other tests. So. So I try to get them at the same time, but obviously I failed at that, but hopefully this gives you a good enough idea as far as the difference. Both screens are turned up to uh, maximum brightness, so keep that you know in mind. So far, I mean, they both look a little bit, or they both look pretty similar. I feel like the Samsung Galaxy S3 screen is maybe a little bit brighter um, compared to the Galaxy Nexus, just a little bit, but other than that, they look pretty much the same. I mean, can't really tell the difference. All right, so this video ended. We'll go ahead and close out of here. And uh, got the same background loaded for both. So let's look at the application shortcuts. Uh, first on the Galaxy S3. So pay attention to these top row um, because they're the same on both phones. So we'll go ahead and look at you know Google Earth nice and close. And then Google Plus, the Play Store, and then YouTube. And let's do the same thing on the Galaxy Nexus. So we'll look at Google Earth. Google Plus, YouTube, and the Play Store. So uh, let's try to see if we can get them close together. I'll actually move Earth to the right side of the screen and up here so that way you can get you know, the Earth logo up and close. So on the left is the Galaxy S3. On the right is the Galaxy Nexus. Um, I'm not sure if there's much of a difference. I mean, it's really hard to see. On camera, it looks like the Galaxy S3 screen on the left looks a little bit smoother than the Galaxy Nexus on the right, but I don't know, it could just be my viewfinder. You guys could be the judge of that. I'll try to get closer if I can. Um, I'll hold them both exactly level so that we're, they're equal distance apart or away from the screen. So anyway, that's as close as I can pretty much get. I mean, you really have to put it under the microscope, I think, to uh, get a big difference. We'll go ahead and, uh, I don't know, let's go to on the web and just look at, you know what, well, this is a Chrome browser because they're both the same. So Chrome browser on here. Let's open this guy up and uh, let's go to phonebuff.com really quick. So we got phonebuff loaded on both websites. Let's go ahead and look at how they look. So this one, I, get, I don't know, I feel like I get, again, uh, the Galaxy S3 screen is a little brighter. Um, I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera, but in person when I'm looking at them, the uh, Galaxy Nexus screen is is a little bit darker. And you know, like I said, I did put these guys both on full brightness because it's got a force close error. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, zoom out all the way on both phones and then look at this little review section so we'll look at the review section right here on the galaxy s3 so keep in mind that you know part of the blurriness or most of the blurriness is going to be uh due to my camcorder not necessarily the screen but anyway you could pretty much read what it says right there it says adama kernel on t-mobile sgs3 Let's go ahead and try the same thing on the Galaxy Nexus. And it says again, Adam Kernel. I feel like this time it's actually a little clearer on the uh, Galaxy Nexus and that's probably due to the higher PPI. So overall, I mean, they're pretty much the same. Um, the difference is I feel like the Galaxy uh, S3 maybe is a little bit brighter. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, but I really feel like that. And you know, I've, I've asked a couple of people and, it just looks a little bit more like brown on the, uh, or the back, the white background has more of a hint of brown maybe uh, compared to the Galaxy S3 on the Galaxy Nexus. So anyway, that's that. But if you look at the screens up close, um, maybe the, uh, you know, I feel like the uh, G 
Galaxy Nexus screen is a little bit sharper because of the higher pixels per inch. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. I just wanted to make it for those of you guys, you know, wondering uh, between these two phones. Honestly, both of these screens are pretty amazing. I love uh, both of them. They're both HD. Can't really ask for more. You know, watching YouTube on these guys are just absolutely awesome. But just wanted to make a quick comparison video. Pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. Thank you.